Look at this. Look at it. No, really, look at it. It looks terrible. It looks absolutely terrible. We've got these, which we hardly even use. We've got this, which we're not even using anymore. These two things are, are been going strong. We've got cables everywhere. We need to tidy it up. But how are we going to tidy it up and keep uh, the room functioning perfectly? It's called a Raspberry Pi. Nice. Our goal is to have this Raspberry Pi here do the jobs of everything on this wall up here. So we should be able to condense it down to one box about this size. This will then be controlled either out here or in the house by me through home automation. One of the big reasons I'm doing this is because I don't like having all of these devices here uh, individually trying to control um, different aspects of the uh, environment uh, in my fruiting room in there. I want to break it all down to one device which controls everything. So this will manage the CO2 content, the humidity, the temperature and the lighting. Now it's going to take a bit to set up. I have ordered a lot of parts and they are on their way now. A lot of the uh, important parts are coming from America um, and I do believe there's a bit of del a delay on shipping so hopefully we get them in the next week or two. Not only can I automate my fruiting chamber, I can do some basic automation here in my lab with the same Raspberry Pi. I can also do some automation for my sterilizers. These are running right now, but I can automate them through the same Raspberry Pi. Now I know what you're all thinking while I'm standing here in this dark, dark room. He's not going to say it. He's not going to say it. But I am. I can also automate my incubation chamber with the same Raspberry Pi. We can automate that, we can automate that, and we can automate that. We can automate that. Now I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. Why do I need to automate everything with a Raspberry Pi? When most things are already automated. The problem with mushroom growing is we often don't have a lot of centralised automation which means if I want to change anything, I have to go out to the fruiting room and uh, push some buttons or switches on a wall. I'm tired of doing that, I don't want to do it anymore. I want to be able to look at the status of my fruiting room while I'm sitting in the couch inside. I want to be able to change all the settings while sitting on my couch inside. The more we can automate, the less intervention it takes when something goes wrong. And it frees up time for you to focus on uh, other aspects of growing mushrooms. So over the coming months, I'm going to do a lot of videos about getting this set up out there to grow mushrooms.